everyone, today's video is the model's guide to caring for overworked hair. Now, I've been a model for almost 13 years, is it? 2001, yes. Wow, um, which is quite a long time. And in those years, there have been some terrible, terrible things that have been done to my hair. Bleaching it numerous times in a week, um, cutting it with really jaggedly with razors, loads of tonging, I've had cornrows put in, sealed in with straighteners, I've had it frizzed backwards so that it all stood up like this and it was rubbed with balloons to make it all static. Just horrible things and it's been in some terrible states. So over the years I've developed these kind of routines and little tricks that I have up my sleeve just to make sure it stays nice and healthy and just to minimise the damage really I suppose. So things that I do when I get back from a shoot or a job just to help keep my hair in nice condition. Now my first rule that I have, and the one that I stick to the most, is that if I don't need to use a heated appliance on my hair, I just don't. If I'm not working, and I don't need to be in town for meetings and things like that, or I'm not going out, I just leave my hair to dry naturally, and I don't do anything to it at all. So that is probably my number one rule, actually, is if it doesn't need anything doing to it, leave it alone. Now if I do need to use heated tools on it or I'm going to be blow drying it then I make sure I use a heat protection mist. I've mentioned this one before, this is the Tony and Guy heat protection mist and you just spritz it all the way through your hair. I mean I don't tend to do anything to my hair until it's about 80% naturally dry anyway and this just helps really if I have to be using heated appliances just minimises the damage again, it's all about damage control. Now if I'm leaving my hair to dry naturally, I do quite like to put a light conditioner, like a leave-in conditioner, into the lengths of the hair because I do think that lots of products concentrate on kind of nourishing and healing the ends of the hair but you don't really want to put them through the lengths because you don't want to weigh it down or make it look greasy. Um, so it spritz through a really lightweight leave-in conditioner. This one is uh, Miracle Mist from VO5 and you can just spritz this through either on damp hair and let it dry naturally or you can actually use heat stylers with it as well, a bit multi-purpose one that one in that way um, and then just leave it to dry and you just get this really nice condition without it weighing down the hair. Now the other thing, and I always always use a serum pretty much, is that for the ends of the hair where they're usually the most dry and damaged I always run a serum through. Uh, this one is the Dove Dry End Serum and literally with most of these you only ever need a couple of drops and you just rub those in the palms of your hand so you can control how much you're using because you never want to go overboard with these things and just on the very ends of the hair off duty hair so just nice and natural this is actually dried naturally believe it or not it never ever ever falls like this. It's probably because I've been faffing around with it for about two hours and it's just given up the ghost and gone into a nice position for me. Um, last thing I want to talk about is conditioners and especially intensive conditioners. Now there are loads of different types of them out there on the market. Some of them you can use before you wash your hair as like a pre-wash treatment and they're usually some kind of oil based one and some of them you can leave on for hours and hours and hours or overnight and you come back and you have to re-rinse your hair. Now, because I'm quite lazy and also, ironically, time poor, I don't like to have to remember to put something on before I shampoo. And also, even more, I hate having to go back and rinse my hair once I've finished with my bathroom stuff. So, preferably, I like something really powerful that I can just keep on for a few minutes. Even if it's 10 minutes, really, that's absolutely fine. Shave my legs, do face mask, what have you, and everything's done at the same time. So two things I've been trying recently since I've been doing my all things hair stuff. Um, first one is the Dove Intensive Repair Mask. Actually, I'll show you them both at the same time. This one's the Tresemme Platinum Strength Deep Conditioning Treatment. I can't really decide which one I like best. They just work really well to make your hair feel like it's had that really kind of deep condition. So pop those on three to four minutes and then usually what I do is either wide tooth comb or with my fingers just detangle while the conditioner's in there because it's kind of easier than when you rinse it out. And also it makes sure that all the strands of your hair get coated in the conditioner. Also something that I do with these types of um, really heavy duty masks 
is if I come back from a job and my hair's all frizzy or back combed or knotted, then I put a little bit of deep conditioner in when it's dry and I do the same kind of thing. I kind of fiddle through it with my fingers or a really wide tooth comb until all the frizz or the knots are out and then I shampoo and condition as usual. But it just sometimes helps, I think, to have some kind of slip in your hair to detangle it rather than trying to do it when you've just shampooed it or when it's dry. Mm. So anyway, it doesn't say that you can use them for those, but I do and it works really well. So something to think about. And that is it. I know that some of those tips probably seem a little bit obvious to some people, but sometimes it's the obvious things in life that we overlook, isn't it? That's it for now. Make sure you like and subscribe and I shall see you next time.